Hi folks, Rick with GoatFinder.com and in today's video segment we are going to show you step by step how you can easily build your very own milking machine for pennies on a dollar. Okay folks, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, what we're going to be showing you how to build is what we call a closed system milking machine. Uh, basically it's a self-contained unit. Uh, the milk is essentially never exposed to the air so uh, you, you don't really get dirt and hair uh, in the milk. Uh, the milk runs through the lines, collects in a jar, and then once the jar is full uh, you just unscrew the lid and put another lid on it and then stick it right in the fridge. Uh, it's really a simple system and it works really well. And the good thing is uh, you're going to learn today how you can build this uh, whole milking system uh, for under uh, $50. To build this milking machine uh, all you're going to need is a drill to drill the holes in the lid that, for the fittings and then also a pair of scissors to cut the milk lines to length and essentially that those are the only two main tools that you'll need as far as parts go you're going to need a teat cup you're going to need a hand vacuum pump you're going to need a canning jar lid and band which you can get in almost any grocery store You'll need the milk lines. You need two of them, which again can be found in almost any hardware store, Home Depot, uh, Ace Hardware, those kind of places. And then also you're going to need fittings, milk line fittings with nuts, and also you'll need washers to go between the nut and the fitting. So. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll just put drill a couple of holes real quick here into the lid. So you want to drill the holes so they're uh, not too far apart. But so there's one hole. There's another hole. And then you want to make sure that uh, there's no burrs uh, around the edges. You know, you know, make sure you have a sharp drill bit so there's no burrs or anything on the edge of the holes because these lids are pretty thin um, as it is. So once you get the holes drilled, go ahead and put your fitting into one of the holes. Take a rubber washer, put it over on the back side of your fitting. Just stretch, you just stretch it over there like so and you want to make sure you want to have a rubber uh, uh, gasket that's you know going to fit somewhat snug then after you get the gasket on go ahead and put your nut on there and snug it up and then you want to do the same uh, and go ahead and insert the other fitting. Now once you have your fittings all uh, installed and secured go ahead and get your jar. Again this is a just a ball jar or mason jar or whatever you want to call it. This particular one's a wide mouth. Go ahead and put your cap on there and then go ahead and secure it with the lid band so that uh, it's snug. Take your two milk lines, go ahead and slide them onto the fitting, and then on one hose, put your teacup, or essentially what it is, it's a catheter, it's a syringe housing with a catheter tip. Uh, you can find these in many, many places online Amazon, eBay, so forth. Then go ahead and attach your hand your hand pump to the unit and there you have it so as you can see this machine is extremely easy to build and anybody can build it really if you know how to use a drill and a, and a pair of scissors and the great thing is the, you can source the parts locally um, 
or you can actually go online and find them as well. Now, most people aren't sure exactly what specific parts to use, so if you visit our website, uh, just click on the link below, DIYMilkingMachine.com, and you can learn all about that stuff, uh, what exactly what parts you need and so forth. So anyway, um, we hope you enjoyed it, and uh, happy milking. Hey kids, be quiet. Sorry about that. <laughs>